Well, my name is Sandra Gray, and I work for the city of Seaside. And I, I was a teacher for 33 years, I believe. I started in 1974, no, 71. 1971, that's a long time ago, isn't it? <laughs> and what's interesting is that I met my two best friends that same day when I first came here to be hired as a teacher. Uh, I was leaving the Monterey Peninsula Unified School District office on Cass Street, no, Pacific Street. And uh, they came running across the grass, the lawn, from the door, from the front door, and said, hey, sister, sister. <laughs> it wasn't too long after all the uh, different uh, black consciences things that were going on. So they said, hey, sister, hey, sister. And I was wearing a little short, very short apple. This is long compared to what I had then. And, uh, or I might have had a big one like Angela Davis. I think I did. <laughs> I did. I had a big one like Angela Davis with the wire rim glasses and everything. <laughs> and then I got my hair cut really short, shorter than this, after I got here. Because I got tired of dealing with all that long hair. <laughs> so when I came, I came in my little gray Volkswagen Beetle <laughs> from Stockton, California, where I grew up and decided I never was going to stay there after I graduated from college. And I drove down the freeway happy and singing all the way <laughs> until I got here and went to my first appointment with the district and that's where I met my two best friends. For a new teacher, they always gave you the hardest, the worst, the oh. children who nobody could handle. <laughs> and that's what I had. But we all shared a room, a classroom, with another teacher. All the kindergartners uh, had morning kindergarten and afternoon kindergarten. And the morning kindergarten helped the afternoon kindergarten ask like an aide. And the, more, the afternoon kindergartner helped the morning teacher. So it kind of worked out for everybody and helped the new teachers learn all the different tricks of the trade, and I, it really helped me. Well, as a college student, when I graduated from high school, I said, if I can't be an artist, I won't take the class. If I can't be an artist, I won't go to college. So I majored in art, and I started out Minoring, I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted to be an, I always thought I wanted to be a nurse. So I, I, I was registered in the nursing field for the longest, for maybe a semester. They, and they had us working at the hospital to get experience. And they asked me to use, to put a catheter in a man. Mm -hmm. And I said, goodbye. <laughs> 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 I think I'll find a different major. <laughs> I really did that. I just left. I, I didn't even tell them I was leaving. I just left. <laughs> I'm not doing this. So <laughs> things have changed a lot. But <laughs> I didn't do that. And uh, I was taking art classes at uh, Delta College, which is a small, it's become Delta Junior College now. Names change. And I was taking art classes there at the same time that I was doing my pre-med type stuff to become a nurse. And then I decided, well, okay, if I can't be a nurse, I'll be a, uh, maybe, uh, I'll be a teacher. Monterey Peninsula, I, I applied to Hawaii, Germany, uh, Haiti, I didn't care as long as I got a job when I graduated. <laughs> so I ended up here. And I've been here ever since. Here, I found out that they had an art commission in Seaside, so I became an art commissioner in the 70s, the early 70s. And I stayed in, on the art commission. I ended up being a, um, the chairperson of that commission for a, a number of years. It turns out that when you join a board or an organization, it's for life. <laughs> Did you know that? No. They won't let you quit. They won't let you quit. <laughs> Can you tell us about your photography? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I've been doing photography all along, I guess, as long as well as painting. And I really kind of got into it, especially after the digital cameras came. Mm. I, I was doing uh, 35 millimeter, and I think I did 
very well with it, but the digital made it so much easier because you don't have to buy film. And it's easier to develop. You can get it done online. They send you the pictures and they're wonderful. And you can see the picture right away. Yeah, that's yeah. the other thing. You can see if it's any good and you can get rid of it and do another one yeah. <laughs> until you get tired of doing it. Yeah, that's, that's the best part about digital. Other paintings. I have one painting I did for an art show that uh, Patricia Sullivan, I think her name is, on, in, on, on yeah. Main Street. Trisha. Yeah. Yeah. Trisha. Oh, yeah. Trisha. Yeah, she yeah. had a broken hearted exhibit one year. Oh. Yeah, and I found a photo, I, did, I took a photograph of some cookies that were heart cookies, you know, kind of the jelly in the middle, mm, and yum. some of them were broken. So I took a picture of that and framed it, and I used that in the exhibit. And then I had another picture it's, uh, that I had done a design for Valentine's Day, and it had maybe a thousand hearts in it. <laughs> so, but that didn't fit the theme. So I took that picture, a print of that picture, of that drawing, and I, I used my fingers and I tore it into pieces. So it looked like it was broken. Oh, wow. And then I glued that with paint. I, first I painted the whole canvas red and pink. You know, just had fun splashing it on and rubbing it in. and Just covered the canvas with red and pink. And then I put the pieces on so it wasn't together. They left some of the paint showing all the way through it. And then I call it the broken heart. Oh. And I had a poem. I do poetry too. I told you I don't specialize in anything. And I had a poem about broken hearted. And I put that, I put that, I, uh, I had a book, little book that I'd been putting all my poems in. And I, uh, Cut it out and put that on the wet paint. Wet paint is glue. Did you know that acrylic paint can be made from Elmer's glue? No. no. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Red paint can be made from Elmer's glue? Not red paint, acrylic paint. Oh, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is nothing but acrylic medium, really, or Elmer's glue, which is just plastic liquid plastic and you add color to that and you have acrylic paint. Wow. Like powders, or powders or fluids? You could use either. Mm -hmm. I've done it both ways but fluids work better. You can use food coloring. <laughs> you can use ink. You can use paint powders. You can use bits of paint out of your tube. I don't know if you can use watercolor. I haven't tried that. But I think you could. If you could use food color, why couldn't you use watercolor? Yeah, yeah. So you put, I used to, when I was at Or Terrace, I was hired as an art teacher. Talked to people that had uh, businesses like the carpet people. They have these books. They bought this yeah. thick. Yeah. And they're full of carpet samples. Mm -hmm. Well, I took a razor blade and cut those samples apart, and we sewed little pockets and made uh, little purses. And I showed them how to finger crochet with yarn that was donated. And <laughs> they had a little purse that they could wear that they made. I showed them how to make buttonholes and buttons mm -hmm. and sew on buttons so that they could close up their little purses that we made. And it just was a, a rectangle with a flap over it. Had a triangle for the purse, and or they could have a loop to go over the button. So we learned how to sew. We learned how to um, make things that we could use. They love to make little tiny pillows. They're really supposed to be uh, pin cushions, but they just like to have them to hang, throw around with the with that all, all from the those books that the yeah. fabric places had. Yeah. Either carpet or drapery places. I go and get the sample books and cut them apart with a razor blade. And uh, one thing I learned is that I had six hundred dollars to teach art for a whole year to a uh, a student body of six hundred students. Oh, wow! <laughs> so I became the queen of recycle maintenance. Yes. <laughs> Lots of Elmer glue paint. Yeah, yes. uh, that's when I learned how to make Elmer's glue paint. <laughs> I 
I, I asked the kids, okay, at this time everybody was still using film cameras. And what do the film cameras come, the film come in? Little canisters. Little yeah. canisters, canisters with very tight lids. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, so they brought those in and we put our glue in about three-fourths of the way up on the canister. And then we'd add our paint until it was a color we liked. You just keep testing it on a piece of paper. That was another thing. I learned that we were still using computer paper that was in three sections. Remember that with the holes along the edge? Oh, yes. Okay, they learned how to flip it back and take out the, the carbon, and they, ooh, they love that carbon paper. <laughs> <laughs> and that bottom piece. And we could paint on that paper. It was really good because you could paint on it. You could do, I would take liquid vinyl starch and they'd smear it all over the paper and then we'd use chalk or pastels on that. And the starch is a fixative. So it doesn't powder. So we did that <laughs> on stuff. That, extra paper that the, the, the school district was throwing away yeah. or the parents brought in. Or I would go out and ask the place, can we have your extra computer paper that you don't, that you're throwing in the trash? Yes. Oh yeah, sure. Yes. Come back and get some more. Yes. <laughs> I'd get scrap paper from card uh, companies that were making greeting cards or whatever. They would give me the envelopes from uh, Hallmark for the kids to use. We'd make our own greeting cards. <laughs> Uh, I, I did my master's thesis, yes, I have a master's in art, and actually it's not art, it's early childhood education. I did my master's thesis on recyclomania. Mm -hmm. I did a little, I found a, a book of cards, you know, the ring finder, about this size, and I took that and I wrote down all the little recyclable art activities that we were doing. I took pictures and glued them on there. Um, I laminated it. We don't laminate anymore. And uh, I put, I, I would cut a little niche in the bottom or the side. No, it was, oh, I took the, pilot, I took the ring part out. You know, the wire that holds the little booklet together. And then that leaves you with the holes, right? All across the top. Well, I could sort my activities by month or type of art by cutting a, a piece out of that circle. So all the ones that you wanted would fall out. <laughs> so I, so I, I presented that and I got an A. <laughs> that was my master's thesis. I did a little book. I still have my book. <laughs> it hasn't been published. But, uh, just on all the different things we did with the baskets. If you take children and you give them a berry basket and you give them yarn, yes. they will make the most intricate designs on that yes. basket if you allow them to see other people's ideas. The older kids will come up with things that look like um, needlepoint. Not needlepoint, but you know the canvas uh, needlepoint? That's going in and out the like, holes yeah. like that. The plastic canvas. Yeah, the plastic yeah. canvas. Well, we used the berry baskets at our plastic canvas. Oh, and cool. we uh, made some really beautiful baskets. Mm -hmm. And that was our Easter project. And we put a handle on it or not. And they could take it home. Or they'd make a pillow to go inside it. <laughs> and uh, it was great. We, some of the kids had some great ideas. And they, they'd come up with some very intricate designs on those berry baskets. And it, they were so cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. One of the most recent things I've done, and it started out being a, an old drawing that I did. Somebody wanted me to do a drawing for um, uh, a rodeo that they were going to have. They were going to have a black rodeo here, and uh, they wanted me to do the drawing for the cover. Well, rodeo didn't happen, but I, <laughs> I still have my drawing that I did, and it's done with a uh, colored pencil and black ink in some areas. And then um, I had it, I drew it on some really bad paper. It was just regular computer paper. Mm -hmm. And I put something else on it right about here was, uh, 
I glued on a, a, a sign that had to be in the drawing for the newspaper, and I took it off, and that took some of the surface of the paper with it when I took it off. So I got the brilliant idea while I was sitting at the gallery on McCannery Row. I said, oh, I'm just going to cut out the picture and glue it on another piece of paper and finish it. <laughs> so that's what I did. Collage. <laughs> color paper. I finished it with um, chalk, pastel chalk on the outside. Oh, cool. I cut out the picture, and then I re-signed it, and it's a different year because I didn't yeah, have that's it. that's great. Great atmospherics in that, in terms yes. of distance, a sense yes. of closeness yes. and far away. They printed it up here. 